Hello, my name is Layla Walsh and I'm going to be your social worker. Um, I read in your file that your name is Nevea. Is that how you would like to be addressed? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, so before we begin, um, everything that is said in this meeting is confidential and it will remain confidential except in a situation where I feel like you're going to harm yourself or be a harm to others. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so basically how this meeting is going to go, um, I have read a little bit about your file, but you're going to tell me more in detail, and then we're going to come up with some goals um, and some resources um, that works with your situation. Um, so why don't you tell me a little bit more in detail about what's going on? Um, so my mother was recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and she is like in the middle stages. It's becoming like progressively worse, and she's struggling with day-to-day -day activities like taking her medication and making her some food and. Like, I've come home from work, and she has just not eaten. Her pills are still in her pill bottle. Like, we're just, like, not getting anywhere, like, with her day-to-day -day activities. And she's a home alone, which is really, like, making me nervous. And I recently started a new job, and I work in finance with a small company. Um, and it's just, like, becoming all really overwhelming. I feel like I'm, like at work or taking care of my mom and I have no help and it's really hard. That's very understandable. Um, it just, it sounds like it, it is extremely overwhelming. Um, so you said that she's just been recently diagnosed um, with Alzheimer's and you said it was uh, moderate stages, mm -hmm. correct? Um, have you ever had to take care of somebody or known anybody uh, with Alzheimer's? No, before? this is really all very new to me a very new situation for you yeah. and I can also see how that in itself is um, extremely overwhelming yeah um, do you have any family involved in this picture in the picture um, I do not have anyone really that helps me my brother um, hasn't spoke to my mom in like five years they had a falling out and um, so he really really like, refuses to help his wife was helping for a while um, like at the very beginning of her diagnosis and then he like kind of caused a fit and she like will sometimes like stop over and like check on my mom but my brother finds out it's like a problem so we've like kind of squashed that and it just he like it's really just me uh does your brother's wife um does she stop over anymore um the last time that she did, he like caused a fit, and I haven't really asked her to since, just because I feel like it just make it just stresses me out more. Understandable. I could also see like in that situation that it could stress out your mom, yeah. and obviously that is not something that we want in a situation right. like this. Um, is there any way to um, involve your brother if that's what you want? No, he kind of like has made it apparent that he doesn't want involved. He's like really holding a grudge and it's it's really sad honestly to watch because yeah. my mom's clearly sick and he doesn't want anything to do with her. And mm -hmm. It's really, just it's really sad. So it is all you um, all the time. And again, a big concern is that it is very overwhelming. Um, I do want to talk about the financial aspects if you're comfortable talking about that. Mm -hmm. Um, so what is the financial um, situation like for you and your mom? I know you recently just said that you um, graduated from college, so I can imagine that you probably have a lot of loans to yeah, pay back. Yeah, so I do have um, like student debt, and I live by myself. It's, I own the home, and so I have my bills, and now like I have taken in my mom, and um, I student loans, she gets like her social security check and um, she has a small retirement, but that's really all. Um, my father never had a retirement and he passed away like two years ago. So um, he, that's like no help there, kind of left her with nothing. And um, 
So um, I like know that care can be very expensive and that's like a concern I have is like paying for someone to come help me. And um, that's like kind of something that I like would need help with is paying for her care. Okay. What I decide to do. So um, financially, like in the, the financial aspect, um, that's where I can step in. I can kind of help and see what programs there are, what grants we can apply for, um, what your mom qualifies for, just hearing a little bit about her situation, um, like what we can find for her. And then, um, so it sounds like you do want to find um, somebody to help you, but it sounds like you want an agency or some kind of um, facility to help. So I've thought about um, different, like, obviously I don't like know exactly what's out there, but I have thought, uh, definitely do not want to put her like in a facility just yet. She gets very violent sometimes and angry when she's confused or when like she like thinks that something's going on and it's really not. Like she kind of gets violent and I would never want to put her in a situation where she would do some that somewhere and then someone is now like not treating her with the best care and that's like you know you hear horror stories about that stuff so I would prefer to keep her at home as long as possible um for now okay Um, so that's like one thing I don't really know like where to go for that okay so your concern um is just with how the Alzheimer's is progressing how your mom can get um aggressive and violent and you don't want that for um you don't want somebody else to have to deal with that um Also, so by the sounds of it, I'm going to say no nursing homes. Um, I feel just hearing about the situation of that, she probably would not get the care that she deserves or the care that she needs in a nursing home. So other options outside of that, we can find a live-in nurse. We can also try and find um, a visiting nurse if that is something that you're more comfortable with. Um, and then we can also try and find a 24 care facility um, that is going to provide her with much better care than I think she would find at a nursing home. So I've thought about a live-in nurse and um, that is just something I don't know how comfortable I am with just because like bringing someone into my home makes me a little bit nervous but I do realize that I cannot do this on my own and I have to do something so that's another thing like I don't really know how where to start my research in like how I find like a trusted agency and um, to have somebody in my home. Absolutely, that is a concern. Like you don't, you know, when the stranger coming into your home, um, especially in a very new situation like this, um, would, if we found a um, visiting nurse, would you still live at home? Yeah. Okay. So I would actually, um, I don't mind having some. I just really want somebody there for the daytime. Okay. Um, just like while I'm at work, because that's what's getting like really hard is mm-hmm. me being at work and she calls me or the neighbors are calling me. It's just getting a lot. Is your uh, typical hours like are they nine to five? Yeah, I work like a nine to five. A nine to five job. Okay, so we would want to find somebody that can be there during the day. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think a goal that we are gonna set. Um, like I said, I will take care of the financial aspect, so that way you don't get overwhelmed. Um, I want you to focus on finding agencies within the area um, that provide the kind of care that you are looking for. I want you to find at least three. Um, and like I said, it's all about what you're comfortable with, what you think your mom's going to be comfortable with, um, what's local, what's maybe not as local. Um, and um, I also do want you to look into like the cost of them. So that way on my end, I know exactly how much um, I need to get for you guys or how much like we have, we have um, an idea. Okay. Um, do you have any questions about how like that works? Um, not necessarily. So you want me to find three agencies? Yes and the cost of them and ones I may be comfortable with for our next session. Yes. Okay. Um, do you have any resources for yourself? Um, no, not really. I should, I mean, I don't even know 
know where to start with that. It's, um, it sounds like you are overwhelmed and finding some sort of support system for you um, is also gonna be beneficial to your mother because if you're not as stressed, you're able to be there more for her. Um, have you, do you have friends you can reach out to to talk about this? Yeah, I do. I have some friends that like are usually very good with that and they um, are good at like, you know, helping me through things. So I would say I have a support system. I just haven't reached out to them yet. Okay. Um, do you want more resources to build a support system? If you could find me like a few, I wouldn't be against looking into them. Okay. So I will also take care of that on my end. So by our next session, we will have a whole bunch of things to discuss, a whole bunch of goals that we both worked on. Um, do you have any more concerns or questions for me? I do not. Okay, Nevea, I think that that is about it today. Um, I will be in contact with you. I'll reach out to you, um, but please feel free if you have any questions or concerns to give me a call. Okay, All thank right. you. Thank you. You should be able to look